Ladies and gentlemen, I am live from the floor of SHOT 2019. And with me is Paul Levy of Brownells. Say hello to everyone, Paul. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hold the microphone so that Paul can use his hands. I'm Paul, and he's Paul, and we're Pauls. But well, he's going to use his hands to demonstrate and show you some of the new products, the hot off the presses products from Brownells. Thank you. So right here we have the BRN Proto. This is our newest uh, member of the retro family. Uh, this is inspired by the very first AR-15s, like serial number one through four, where they still had the top style charger handle. So this has that feature, which everybody is uh, quite excited about. We also had to design a new magazine. This is actually a 25 round magazine made specifically for this gun. You can buy it separately, of course, at brownells.com. Uh, also on this gun, we've got the BRN-10 style handguards with heat shields and that has a prototype style front sight base. We had to machine this from scratch. You can't just go buy that style of front sight base from any old buddy. Uh, one in 12 twist, chrome line barrel, phosphate finish. And then we topped it off with a three prong flash hider. Uh, a few details, it does have a slab side lower receiver and we are now producing A1 ejection port covers. So a nice detail there that retro guys will love. Chrome bulk air group, slick side upper uh, and that's basically the BRN Proto. Now, for the more modern stuff, uh, so we had people asking uh, with the retro line, well, why don't you make an AR-180? Uh, that would be insanely expensive with stamping an entire gun, probably a half million dollar more and just set up. Uh, so we thought to ourselves, how do we modernize the AR-180? It's a robust system. It's uh, been copied by a ton of manufacturers. What we came up with, partnering with PWS and FM Products to design it, is the BRN-180 upper receiver group. So this basically has the guts of an AR-180, the piston system, the bulk area group, the operating system, and it's a, in a platform that will mount to an AR-15 standard lower receiver. It takes AR-15 magazines, uh, and then we added a few uh, modern features. So everybody wants a monolithic picatinning rail. They want a long handguard system that's free float and also m -lock. So you have it right here. It's also lightweight, weighs under five pounds, so your complete gun is actually under seven pounds with a piston system. The biggest feature people will probably like is the recoil system is housed in the upper receiver itself. So right there you can see the recoil system. What that allows is for a folding stock to be used and you can actually fire the gun with the folding stock uh, folded uh, in either position really. So that, there it is mounted on a standard AR-15 lower receiver. Uh, would you like me to go ahead and disassemble it? Show you sure. how it works? Sure, go ahead. Now one thing I want uh, people to know is are these available now? Will they be available after the show? They're when are available. they available? They're available for pre-order. We're hoping to ship these this month. These are basically production components right here. So we're really ramping up. Uh, should be shipping here very, very soon. Um, so they're available right now on brianellis.com for pre-order. The awesome thing we did when we modernized it, we kept in mind modern production methods. How do we keep this as inexpensive as possible to bring it to the consumer to great price? Seven ninety nine dollars uh, for a piston-driven up receiver, complete everything you see right here. So. Okay, go ahead and uh, disassemble it for the cameras. I'm sure people are yeah. interested in that. So the, the guts of it, so to disassemble, you pop it off your AR-15 lower just like anything else. There's this polymer buffer at the rear that houses the guide rods. There's a steel insert in there that houses the guide rods in place. So to get it out, you simply give it a good pop. There it comes out. It won't do that under firing. It gets captured in place by the lower receiver. There's your guide rods with the recoil springs. Take your upper or the bolt. Take your charger handle out, which is exactly the same as the original. There's your bolt and carrier. The bolt is nickel Teflon. The carrier itself is nitride finished. Uh, production won't have a red firing pin. That's a dummy for the show here. And then from there, your guide rods are out of the upper receiver. On the original Air 180, when those were taken out, you could take off the top handguard to maintenance the piston system. On this, once they're out, they, don't, they no longer engage the handguard. I can then remove this latch right here which is snugly fit, it's a precisely fit part. That's removed. I can now remove the handguard off the front of the gun, which is also very tight. So there's my quick detach free float handguard, and there you can see the guts of it, the heart of it, the AR-180 system, the SVT-40 system. Uh, that's the piston assembly. So you got a lightweight profile, 223 wild uh, barrel with a one and eight twist, nitride finish. All the steel parts are nitride. All the aluminum parts have a hard matte black anodized finish. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not been paying attention lately, you should be paying attention because Brownells has lost their minds. <laughs> They're going crazy. They're producing 
more products than I think I've ever seen you guys produce. We went from just making your own line of magazines and parts to complete guns and glass to go on them. Yeah, so we have our new line of mass precision optics. Let me see if I can grab one here. Okay. So right Scopes here, from Brownells. Yeah, so right here we have the mass precision optic line of optics. There'll be uh, shipping here, May, June time frame. So our mindset here was uh, let's bring a piece of high quality glass to the consumer, go direct so we can give you a great price. Uh, so we went to Japan. Uh, we didn't physically go, but we sourced uh, with partners there uh, to produce these to our spec. So right here we have a 3 to 18 entirely built uh, using Japanese glass components, quality control uh, to, uh, again, Brownell specifications. 3 to 18 by 50, we have a 5 uh, by 25 by 56, very popular models. 34 millimeter tube, so we got a ton of elevation in there. You may notice the serrations, they're nice uh, and very uh, uh, crisp. That's because they're Glock slide serrations that we canted uh, a few degrees. So it's a proven tactile design. You're not going to slip on it. Uh, the elevation does have a zero stop. Uh, nice crisp adjustments. I don't know if you can hear uh, that. They're very precise. You have parallax, illumination. Now we do have our own reticle as well. We call it the Nomer, non-obscuring milling reticle. Uh, and what that is, it's a PRS style reticle. It's got the Christmas tree for your windage. You can adjust for elevation with the reticle. Uh, but then also the center post is separated. So at distance, you can actually see some of your targets not obscured uh, by the post, which is pretty handy at distance like 800, 1,000 yards when you're trying to hit a 4MOA target. So basically, those of you who are west of the Mississippi River and ac can actually shoot long range, uh, this is something that is for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we won't keep uh, Paul here with Paul much longer, uh, but thank you very much for joining us. Go to brownells.com, subscribe to their newsletter, and you will never miss a special, a discount, or uh, any product updates, yeah. Thanks, guys.